Hi guys, welcome to my channel, welcome back to my channel, it is Sweetest Tells, and today, I can't even believe I'm filming a video like this. Um, so, as you guys might know, I went to Sweet Sweet earlier this summer with Brooke, it was back in July? July, I think, and honestly, this summer has gone by kind of crazy, but I went with Brooke, it was amazing, I got to meet so many different really cool brands and see so many things I've been looking forward to. But one of the ones that really stuck out to me was Winx Club. Um, I've been a fan of Winx pretty much my whole life. I love them a lot. And as although I don't really collect the dolls because they are so expensive on the secondhand market and it's hard to get the ones that are even out in like Italy and Europe. Um, and I also don't quite like them. Um, it was really cool to talk to the people at the Wings Club booth because a lot of them are from like the Rainbow Team Wings in Italy and they came here to talk about the brand and the anniversaries and they were telling Brooke and I specifically that Wings Club is coming back to the US and they're bringing dolls here too and they're gonna be by a totally new manufacturer and company so like it's not gonna be Woody, it's not gonna be Jax, it's not gonna be Mattel, it's gonna be a completely new person that's making the dolls which I'm so excited I'm gonna talk a little bit more later about what I hope those are going to look like, but, um, I talked to them, I got some emails, and they sent me a package! <laughs> this is so insane to have, like, a, my first a PR thing from anything be from Winx. If you told me this when I, like, a year or two ago, I would have been like, yeah, sure. Winx, I, I, like, don't even know what to say, I don't, I don't know what's in here. I'm excited to get into it, um, and yeah, I'm just gonna open it on camera real time for you guys because this is something I've never thought was gonna happen to me, and I've been eagerly awaiting for this package to arrive. Um, it has taken some time, but it was it's gonna be worth the wait because I love Winx, and the people at the Winx team that I got to talk to and I've been talking to are the nicest people I've, like, they're just so sweet, but... <laughs> okay, um, so the first thing right on top is this, um, like, little makeup bag or, like, pencil bag. It's a balloon, and it says the dragon flame, which is something that's pertinent to season one specifically. And then we have some Japanese text right there. This art is so pretty, and this bag actually feels really nice. Um, I'm probably gonna use this for school because I haven't started my next semester yet, but super super cute and it feels really nice um we have a bunch of these little scragglies and then we have a like journal notebook which is so cute um so it has i don't know what winx art this is specifically but it has the core girls on there and i do know that ayusha wasn't really originally on this art i don't think so they added her on which is really exciting it's really cute. I wonder if there's any designs on the inside. No. Okay. So this one specifically is just like a empty notebook. So you can draw, you can write, all that fun stuff. I want to use this for school really bad, but I also am going to be like freaking out if I don't, if I mess it up. So <laughs> I'm probably not going to end up using this, but it's really cute. It also has like one of those little tags that you can keep your place in the book. Um, and then next is another composition book which has the sort of art style that we saw on this bag and it has all the girls right yeah so okay it has uh bloom stella flora aisha musa and tecna and it says winx club it's really really cute i really like this art it's just a normal black composition notebook this one also doesn't have any uh lines or anything so it's just like you can use it for whatever. Um, so this is seeming to be, I'm pretty sure everything, they put a lot of packing stuff in here to make sure everything is safe, which I appreciate. But this is everything that was in my little Winx Club swag box thing. This is so wild. Like, I'm just so happy. This makes me so happy. I love Winx so much. And I think as a brand, it is something that really has defined, like, every inch of like media today like it's it's just such a good show and the designs are beautiful the art is amazing the characters are so great like 
I'm just really happy with everything. This is so fun. I can't believe I got this at all. I can't believe they thought about me and they wanted to send me stuff for After Sweet Sweet. I'm just really happy. <laughs> so putting that stuff aside, um, we'll talk a bit more about like, I guess what I would like to see from this. I don't know if it's technically a reboot, but um, you guys, might have seen if you're a fan of blinks you might have seen some of the artwork that leaked for the new season um i don't know what season number it is because i forgot and i'm not like that in tune with Link winks as much anymore as i used to be since we've been hearing like very sparse information about the new season and whenever it's coming out but it pretty much seems like it's kind of meant to be a reboot because they are wearing their um charmix outfits i think specifically they're wearing charmix because i'm pretty sure they have bags on them um, and it, they look amazing. I'm really excited about that. Um, and I really hope that the dolls are a lot more similar to the new art style because the biggest issue with the Winx dolls specifically is that a lot of them don't really look like the art ever. <clears throat> like, I think Mattel got the bodies down really right. And I think Old Witty got the faces down really right. But together, none of them have been able to, like, encapsulate any of the like designs or the transformations or the outfits like ever um and i don't really know if i've talked about it much in here but my favorite overall is probably jacks i just think they look the best or they look close to the best their outfits are all pretty good um and yeah they're just i'm just hoping that we get what like the art style that we've seen so far for this new season and i hope we get dolls that reminiscent of that a little bit more because the dolls that they're putting out right now i think are supposed to go with season eight or whatever season the cosmics transformation is from but they're using like the jack slash new witty faces and their bodies i'm pretty sure are the same but they're like the proportions are all weird and the outfits are kind of strange and they're not like my vibe um so i haven't picked any up and i actually don't really have any wings club dolls i have the i have like a handful of the mattel ones i have upstairs because I don't really have a display for them since so I only have like three or four of them um but what I'm hoping we get specifically is nice quality hair because even though Jax I think was probably the best overall their biggest issue was the hair quality they pretty much all use polypropylene except towards the very end where with the um I forgot what line it was but with one of the later lines I started using like Saran and Connect on and stuff like that and it's upsetting because some of my favorite dolls, like, I love, um, Mythics. That is one of my favorite, like, transformation designs for Winx ever. Specifically that Flora. That Flora is really good. Actually, I'm gonna cut away for a second and see if I can pull up a picture of her because... Okay, I was able to pull up Mythics. It's just this... I love this outfit and the wings so much. They feel just so fairy to me. I love them a lot. This is one of my favorite designs Winx has ever done. And I'm pretty sure the only dolls that have ever used Mythic were the Jax dolls, and those are beautiful dolls, but the hair quality is so bad, so I just don't feel justified to buy them. Um, but also, going back to what I was talking about earlier, I was able to find the art for um, the new season. So, this is what I was talking about earlier with, like, the Charmix bags and stuff like that. So, I really hope that the new stuff we see for the new season is more in line with like how this stuff is looking also none of this don't take it for like final product or anything because this we uh, most of us weren't even supposed to see this it's more for like uh companies to go and see if they want to like license products i think is what that is for or just like for companies to like be like hey here's a look out for the new winks but what i gathered from talking with Winx at Sweet Sweet and just hearing stuff through the grapevine and all that type of stuff is that Winx is coming for blood in the U.S. soon. They're going to be everywhere. I'm so excited to see what they end up doing because it's just so exciting. Um, for a while now, I really thought we were never going to see Winx in the U.S. again because with like Cosmics and stuff like that, that was pretty much all I'm pretty sure European releases and we never got English dubs or anything for any of that so or official english dubs i don't think um but it's just it's just exciting i it's hard for me to articulate how much i really like winks because i don't really talk about them a lot on here and i don't really have any dolls to like show off why i particularly like winks but i love anything that's magical girl-esque and that's pretty much what winks is it's very in line with like 
Precure, if anybody's watched that, Sailor Moon. Um, I'm trying to relate it to uh, Magical Girls that came out, like Ojimazu Dori Me. Um, it's, it's in line with like Magical Girls stuff, which I love. And it also has fairy wings, which is like, I love fairies. Um, and the designs are really great. And the people over at Rainbow really know what they're doing with fairy designs. And I'm just excited. I hope, I'm very excited for the dolls. I don't know what any of the dolls look like. We don't even know who's making them yet. So it's all just like speculation. But the only thing we do know is that it's a completely new company. So don't get your hopes on Mattel reproductions because that's never going to happen. Um, <laughs> contrary to what people at Sweet Sweet tried to make people believe. But I'm not going to get into any drama about that. But yeah, this is kind of a short video. This is a new one for me. I've never really opened anything that's like free product. I do have to say this is free product. I was sent this for free. They didn't really clarify if they wanted me to post it and make videos about it, but I just felt the need to because this is really something really exciting for me. Um, I'm excited to just post it on my socials and stuff like that and share it because it's super exciting. And I just want to start talking about Winx again because I don't think I've talked about Winx any, at any point on this channel because when I was collecting them, I never... When I started collecting them, I didn't really do YouTube, and then when I got some of them was like the Winx Mattel dolls, and I got those from a friend, so it's not even like I could unbox them. They were just like, I got them from a friend, so they were like already pre-owned. Um, but yeah, again, thank you so much to the people at Winx Club, um, Rainbow, and all the people at Sweet Sweet that I talked to that sent me this stuff. It's really, really surreal that I'm getting any free product from any brand nonetheless people that work with Winx and the Winx member, like, I keep saying that, but it is so un- like, I never thought I would be, like, the type of person to get free product from anything I cared about, because, let's face it, I'm not the biggest YouTuber, I'm not the biggest personality in the doll community, um, but this is really special to me, I'm trying not to cry, <laughs> but, um, yeah, it just means a lot to me, because, like, I can't stop smiling, I'm just really happy. I'm, I'm literally about to start crying. Okay. <laughs> if you guys like this, please like, comment, subscribe. Um, all the fun YouTube stuff. I hope I'm going to be able to talk about Winx in the future because I'm really excited that they're coming back to the US. And yeah, I'll see you guys with a video soon. Bye.